What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I got a Vermilion Snapper, also known as a B-Liner, and I'm gonna show you how to flay it up. For today's flay demo, we got an eight inch narrow flay by Dexter. I'll have it linked below. Now let's get started. First thing like we do with any fish, start right here behind the head meat, go into the scales with our fish because snapper have big scales. You wanna go in, okay? Now we take our fish and we just outline the body with the tip of our knife right along the edge of that spine all the way to the tail once we get to the tail i rest my knife on the spine and now i'm just separating the fillet from the spine I'm going all the way going all the way up the fish and you're gonna see some beautiful snow white meat you guys see i just go from the tail to the head all the way to the backbone and you can hear my knife get stopped right there it's the sound you should be looking for now we got to break through the pin bones snapper and grouper all have pin bones which are right here above the big rib cage just break through them now this is what I see a lot of people doing charter guys or people who are in a rush they like to go like this they like to put the knife right here whack off one side whack off the other there's nothing wrong with that if you have a ton of fish and you don't mind wasting like five to ten percent of your catch nothing wrong with it but I want to show you the maximum efficient way to get all of the meat off of the fillet. So we got through the pin bones, got through the rib cage, other side of the backbone, point the tip of your knife down. And that's why this uh, narrow fillet is really nice because it flexes to the contours of the snapper's body. And just like that, beautiful fillet. I'll pay you to try to find meat left on this fillet. There's nothing there but bone. And this is what I mean about that rib cage. So the guys who they like to just rip off the fillet, fish have raised backbones. And if you do that, you're gonna leave meat on both sides of the backbone right there. And it's, it's not much waste, but it is waste. The other side is basically the same thing. Right here behind the head, cut into the scales. Not like this, not like this, but into them. Okay, now we can take our knife and outline our fish once again. So we're gonna just go along the outer edge of the fish all the way to the tail. Okay, now you can either go from the tail or the, or the back, doesn't matter, whichever one you prefer. But this flexible knife really allows you to contour to that fish's spine. And you can just go like that. All the way to the backbone. We're gonna break through those pin bones once again. You heard that, that's that pin bone breaking. Once I break through the pin bones, take the tip of my knife, other side of the backbone, go down to start the other side of the fillet. Once that's complete, right here above the rib cage, and just take that knife where, you, where it wants to take you. And there you go. You can certainly eat this fish whole. Brookie, my fiance behind the camera, she's actually about to cook up some whole vermilion snapper. And what you would do is scale it from the tail to the head, gut it. You can leave the head on if you want, but if you do that, you take the gills out and you can fry it whole. But this is just the more traditional Western way. So now we're gonna line up our filet with the edge of the filet table, tail to head, head going away from you. And this knife, that flexibility is perfect for skinning too. So we're gonna start just like this and just nice long strides just to separate and remove the skin. And you can also eat the skin, but then you would want to remove the uh, scales. So there's the skin. Now the pin bones we removed earlier, which attach to the rib cage, they run about halfway down the length of the fish. You're going to take your knife, go on one side of it, take your knife, go on the other side of it, lift up, make a cut. Pin bones are gone. Just feel around. I don't feel any bones. That's ready. If you're going to eat this fresh, you can leave the bloodline in. If you freeze it, I recommend taking this out. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's filet demo. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, comment below, like this video. If you guys like these videos, we love helping you guys out. Until that next one, see ya.